With everything costing more these days, 13 is on your side with Surviving the Squeeze, a special series offering meaningful ways to save money in your everyday life. As more and more streaming services become available, each with unique content offered, the cost of having them all starts to pile up too. 13 on your side's Nate Belt talked with a couple of experts on ways to save you some cash while still watching your favorite shows. Streaming has taken over the entertainment world, and there's probably a good chance that there's already at least one service that you're subscribed to. While some get used every day, others you may forget entirely, and that money becomes lost. Lazy beats free every day. And that's how streaming services are marketed. A small amount of work for hours of content at your fingertips. It comes out of your debit, boom, boom, boom. So you can have a Netflix or a Disney Plus subscription and forget about it. The effort is minimal, but the cost can be great if you don't pay attention. But it is important to know your limits because yes, maybe I do get a lot of enjoyment out of my subscription from this one streaming service and, and I really enjoy it. But frankly, it's making me stressed. I'm getting behind on credit card payments or, it, or simply I just have to cut back on groceries a little bit. Let's say you subscribe to Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, and Disney Plus. On a monthly basis, switching to ad-based content on all four platforms would save you a total of more than $23 each month. Consumers are going to be uh, a little bit more thoughtful on that, especially if they're binging TV shows where we're used to having ads built into that. Experts also suggest taking a break for a while. A benefit of streaming services is you can cancel at any time without being locked into a contract. We know we're going to subscribe to it for these two months, and we'll cancel it and be on our way. If the show you want to watch is released weekly, try waiting until the season is done and watch it all at once, only paying for a short term. And once I've watched it, I'll cut it for two or three months. Save the 10 bucks, 20 bucks. In the end, experts say managing costs comes down to isolating what kind of content you want the most. And a lot more shows and TV and entertainment experiences that I want versus beforehand where I had hundreds of channels that I never looked at. Reporting Nate Belt, 13 on your side.